Hello everybody, Clint Seely here. Um, I'd like to welcome you to a, another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about <clears throat> the Easy Applique Letter feature inside the Bernina Embroidery Software. Um, I did a class, I, I built a class a few weeks ago and taught it last week to kind of highlight the um, inside the lettering feature here on the digitizing side I designed a class to highlight the easy applique letters <clears throat> if you've owned a previous version of the embroidery software you will know that there's there are a few applique alphabets inside Bernina's software let me show you those <clears throat> if we click on the lettering tab here and then I just click on the old screen I can then type in a letter a lot of the times when I'm dealing with applique letters it's usually just one or two maybe three letters that I, I turn into a monogram usually one and I tend to make those letters bigger you're gonna get a better effect when the letter is bigger when we're dealing with applique you wouldn't want to do small names with applique letters you just you'll be pulling your hair out but stick with me because if you've traditionally been used to this easy applique feature inside this software, I'm going to show you a new trick you may or may not know. Because the naming these letters easy applique I find is a little deceiving because there is definitely another way to do it that's better. Let me show you this side first. So I'm going to I'm going to type in a letter and hit enter on my keyboard now by default I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here by rotating the wheel on my mouse just so we can see this okay by default it the program is going to give you an S that is already digitized for embroidery the London font so we would just go into the object properties to do that you can either go up and hit here object properties by left clicking on that icon or the way that I usually just do it is I hover over the letter and right click yes right click and that'll bring up the object properties box now I'm gonna move this box just so we can see everything now you can see the alphabet that is chosen is the London font I'm just gonna click that drop down menu and I'm actually gonna scroll up until I get to the E's, it's actually named Easy Applique. So it's an Easy Applique font, Easy Applique. Uh, the default height right now is 0.55 inches tall. Let's do three or four. Let's do four inches tall. Because remember, I said I like big. I'll hit the apply. Let me zoom out here a little bit so everybody can see what's going on here. And there we go. We've got an easy applique letter. Now traditionally what you would do, and I'll show you over here in the color film what the program automatically did for you, is it created three elements. Okay, you have your either your cut line or your trace line. Now the way that it set it up, what you would do is you would hoop your fabric, you would embroider this running stitch line, which is just a trace line, and that would show you where the S is going to be. You would then lay your fabric down on top, completely covering this trace line. Then the program is going to do a tack down, which is this second element. Then you would stop the machine, take the hoop off of the machine, and trim all of that fabric around this tack down. And then you've got the finishing stitch. Now, people usually like, folks usually like, instead of doing all that trimming inside the hoop a good applique feature would also give you a cut line that the program would print separately on a piece of paper you can then on that piece of paper you can spray adhesive that piece of paper to your fabric and go ahead and cut out your letter ahead of time if you all have played with applique you know what I mean but let me show you why this isn't so easy applique if we go to the file in the print preview you can see here 
that the program is not going to print you out a trace line. It's just going to print this out here. Okay? If we go into the options, we can go to the options and you can see that applique patterns dialog is checked, but it's not showing an another page where it's going to actually print out that trace line. And that's really what you want, or else you're going to have to do it the hard way, the hard way, which visa V makes it not easy applique. Let me show you a better way to do it that a lot of people don't know about and is not so advertised because this takes place really on the art canvas side and we tend to not spend a lot of time on the art canvas side. I do, but a lot of people don't because they're just not comfortable with it yet. So let me show you. <clears throat> let me close here and we're just going to get rid of this S. Another thing is if you don't want your font to look exactly like this font, well, you're out of luck there too because with the easy applique, you're stuck with one particular font. So let's just move over to the art canvas, which is this icon right here. Just click art canvas. And now what we've got is we can come up with any font that we want. Any font. We'll go over and hit the lettering tool and you can see that we have any true type or open type font that you can download into your computer is now at your disposal. Okay, so let me select one at random and I'm going to do an S. Now you see it's really small, but we can just drag this S up to whatever size we want. A good rule of thumb, folks, is when you're creating a new applique letter, make it fat. You want the letters to be fat. You don't want script or anything that has really thin areas. It's just not going to come out well. So this font is nice and fat for me, okay? I'm going to make that dude even bigger. Now, here's where you can get messed up. <clears throat> if you just click your letter sometimes and you do the convert, it might show up. Look at that. <laughs> That's not good at all. It's going to show up all messed up. Before you convert a letter from the art canvas, you want to make sure that you convert that letter to curves, true vector. Okay, so I'm just going to go back. And that'll put me right back where I started. And you can see here it says artistic text. Well, let's right click on the element and here, convert to curves. And now it's a curve. You can see it's a curve. And now when we convert, it should look correctly. Now it's a little too big for the hoop, no problem. We will just drag this guy smaller. It recenters itself. That looks good. Okay, so now I have a, you'll notice this is not applique yet. Hey, no problem. I believe we just slide on over here and hit applique and then hover and click. Yes, hover and click, and now we have another applique S. But what you'll see differently now, that the easy applique uh, feature does not give you, is the program's really treating this like an applique element now. So now, when we go to the object properties, it's an applique. We have full use of all of these applique features. We can change the thickness of the outline the stitch length, the stitch width. We have, we have complete control over the applique element now, which also includes placement line and we can add a cutting line if so desired. So I'll hit the apply, I'll hit okay. And now for this easy applique letter via the art canvas, if we go to the print preview this time, you're going to notice, ah, it's going to print out the information sheet, but it's going your printer is going to print out a second sheet that has the pattern line, okay? So then you would take this piece of paper, spray adhesive it right to the fabric, and you can use your scissors to cut out the S instead of doing it the hard way. So really, this is easy applique.